Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with another Blu ray, DVD, and VHS update. Media. I picked up some stuff for the collection at the thrift stores over the last week or so. So here's what I got. Starting with the Blu-rays, this like just came out and I found it at the thrift store brand new. The Invitation. This Blu-ray contains the unrated and theatrical versions of the film, whereas the DVD from what I've read only contains the theatrical. The theatrical version of The Invitation, by the way, is rated PG-13. The unrated cut features more gore and more nudity. Here's one I've been searching thrift stores for for a while, and I finally found it. It's Prisoners. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. My brother watched this for the first time last year and texted me right away asking if I had seen it and told me I needed to because it's one of the best movies he has ever seen. Needless to say, that ringing endorsement had me very intrigued, and even more so when my mom watched it and loved it as well. Long story short, I'm excited to finally own Prisoners. On to the DVDs now with this Anchor Bay box set. It's seasons 1 and 2 of Titus. This was a sitcom that ran from 2000 through 2002. This Anchor Bay set is out of print, by the way. I found this four-disc, 20-movie set, Undead, The Vampire Collection. Here's the back again if you want to pause to read all of the titles included. I'm not going to read them all off. Here's a movie about which I remember being curious when it was first released, and then I never got around to seeing it. So I found this DVD at the thrift store and had to grab it. The Gift. I also found Ma at the thrift store on DVD. Heard some good things about this movie and don't know too much about it. I found this Lionsgate DVD release of Sleep Stalker. And based on Jason's suggestion, I picked up The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. I found this one brand new and still sealed at the thrift store as well. Gone Girl is maybe the one David Lyncher film I've never seen, so I decided to grab it when I saw it at the thrift. I had also been looking for this one for a while. Spartan. And the last of the DVDs is one I was super happy to find, because I passed up on it the first time I saw it when it was released. The Fanatic. I've heard mixed things about it, but it definitely seems like something I'll enjoy. On to the VHS tapes now, I picked up this exclusive bonus edition of Scream 3 on tape to go along with the regular release that I own. I also picked up The Hand That Rocks the Cradle on VHS to go along with my DVD. Here's the New World Video VHS release of 18 Again, a PG comedy with some nudity. Sacred Cargo has a pretty good cast, so I grabbed this as well. I don't know much about Running Delilah, but based on the synopsis, it sounds pretty good, so I picked it up. Here's David Carradine and Ted Pryor in Future Zone, directed by David A. Pryor. I finally picked up a copy of Bound with Jennifer Tilly, Gina Gershon, and Joe Pantoliano. I picked up this brand new and still sealed VHS release of Without Evidence, starring Angelina Jolie. And the reason I grabbed it is mainly because it comes in this green shell. I thought that was pretty cool. I found Ewoks, The Battle for Endor, for my Star Wars VHS collection. Ambition, with Lou Diamond Phillips. This looks pretty good. Here's Frank Stallone, looking exactly like Sylvester, on the cover of Lethal Games. I found a different VHS edition of this Drew Barrymore psycho killer flick, Far From Home, than the one I already own. This is the Avid Home Entertainment release. Here's an obscure made-for-TV horror film with D. Wallace Stone and Cloris Leachman, Shadow Play, and another made-for-TV horror obscurity, Dying to Remember with Melissa Gilbert. Here's Dangerous Pursuit with Gregory Harrison on VHS. And Target Favorite Son with Harry Hamlin and Robert Loja, Feech Lamana himself. Yet another made-for-TV horror obscurity, Night Owl. 
Joan Collins in Fearless, featuring some naughty nudity. Here's an interesting VHS release of Pyromaniac. I love what it says on the cover here. You've met Jason, you've met Freddy. Now meet Sam. He's your worst nightmare. That's marketing. Here's the controversial Polanski film starring Sharon Tate, The Fearless Vampire Killers on VHS. This tape contains the unrated cut of the movie. And here's a rare Sharon Tate tape to find. The Wrecking Crew. If you've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, then you might remember this film from the scene when Sharon goes to watch her own movie at the theater. I've been after this one for quite a while. And finally, this was a cool find. Revenge of the Zombie. Check this tape out. Yeah, this looks like a blast. For those of you who are unaware, this is actually the alternate title of Kiss Daddy Goodbye, starring Marilyn Burns. So that's it guys for this Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS update. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. And remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.